Hey beautifuls, it is Goddess Lamiel here and today I am going to be um, talking to you about Goddess Life Ministries and the amazing women that I support, we support um, because one, it's time to get the word out and we are finally uh, ready to start expanding and helping more women and building our volunteer team um, and also because we just got some intake forms uh, from particularly from three families that came through today one of which we've already been able to uh, offer them the support that they needed but because we are going to be fundraising um, for the next 48 hours uh, so that we can support the other two families. So, Goddess Life Ministries is a nonprofit organization that I founded uh, years, a few years ago. Um, we have changed and been working through um, our structure and how to best serve women in need. So, our our reach is very broad meaning you know we help women in transition and we understand that women in transition um that looks different for almost all of us right some of us are transitioning into work some of us have transitioned out of a relationship and need some support while we are trying to work some of us need to transition out of that relationship um typically over the last three years the way that i've been supporting is through groceries, is through um, hotel stays. Um, and I say I, but this is a group effort. I started off as a one individual and now we have a small team and it's time to grow that team because we can't have any more situations like this where the need comes in and then we have to scramble to support. So um, sometimes it's food, sometimes it's hotel fees, sometimes it is the transportation, sometimes it is rent or a security deposit um, because a lot of these organizations right now are not as helpful as they used to be because there's so many people in need. Uh, we prioritize women that are being physically abused and women with children that uh, we can verify. Right, We do not have right now a scope where we only serve people in a particular um, area. We serve people all over the country. And that unfortunately has uh, created things that we need help with. Like how do we always get them what they need immediately? So that's why we're opening up for volunteers right now. And we have two families that are in a very serious very serious situation it took me all morning to get to the point where I could um, make these recordings without being overly emotional because they are in serious situations and we need to get them to someplace safe within the next you know 72 hours um, so I'm going to put if you go to goddesslifeministries.org you can learn more about us tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be going live and we will start our fundraising efforts and I will be sharing more. So if you're interested in donating even a dollar, right, you can do so to the Cash App in the bio. Um, I will be offering uh, products and services for donations. Um, for the next 72 hours until we reach the fundraising goal that's going to support these uh, particular families and um, helping people sign up to volunteer in any way that they can. Um, we're going to be doing all the things today, Goddess Life Ministries, and we're going to get these families uh, to safe places and um, get them a fresh start and I will be answering questions. I will be doing uh, card readings for donations. Um, I will uh, be doing story time about how, and part of the reason why I did this is because I once was in a very, very abusive relationship and getting out 
was not easy. So this was built on the strength of what I needed. And even when I got out of the relationship, the transition period, because I had so many children, was not easy. Um, and creating stability is, you know, always number one. You can't, it's, it's hard to do anything when you're always worried about the stability of your family, your children, your home. So uh, Goddess Life Ministries is on a mission to change that so that women can transition, get to a safe place, heal, and heal without the worry of how am I going to heal and feed my kids, right? I literally had seven children at the time, and all of my children had needed to be in therapy, so I didn't get therapy. So unfortunately, what that did was that created years of being in transition because what I didn't realize is that I needed the therapy so that we could come out of the transition. I could come out of fight, flight, or freeze, which is why the healing modalities and things that I share are so important and personal to me is because when you start to heal, you can come out of the transition. So by not healing, I kept my family and my children in transition way longer than needed to be, although I was thinking I was focused on healing my kids. Anyway, I'm going to be sharing more. If you'd like to support, if you can donate, even just a dollar, uh, please do so. If you'd like more information, I will put our text support number um, in the in the comments. So you can actually text, get the website. The website is also listed in the link in my bio. Um, if you want more information, if you need help, you can reach out um, over the next 72 hours. There's going to be people uh, helping with the phone lines. So go ahead and text support if it's safe. Okay. Um, I love you guys and um, I'll see you later.